Last week's blog post was about women getting into shooting and buying guns because after all they are the largest demographic that makes up, uh, they are the largest growing demographic when it comes to gun buying. Um, the next question that I always get is what's a good gun for a lady to buy? Well, I can only go so far with that. I can give you, point you guys in the right direction, but it's going to be your guys' decision by getting your hands on them and seeing which one works for you because I want you to buy a gun that you're comfortable with, that you can control, and that you can manipulate. So. What I have here is a, a, a pretty good selection of semi-automatic 380 uh, pistols. And I got the Ruger LCP, the CAR CW380, the SIG P238, the Glock 42, the Remington RM380, and the uh, Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. Uh, they all got six rounds in them except for the SIG, that one with the extended mag holds seven rounds in it. But all I'm going to do is just run this target out to seven yards, shoot all the mags, and uh, give you a closing. As you can see, they'll all do the job, okay? Now, I had, did have one get away from me on that Remington. It's got fixed sights, but it's just the nature of the beast. Uh, but as you can see, I just absolutely carved out that red right there. These are just pocket pistols. But the thing that I'm going to tell you women when you guys go to buy a gun is you guys have to weigh out the features, how it feels in your hand, as well as do you want a safety or you don't want a safety. People that majority of times when they go out to buy a gun, the biggest thing that I hear them say is, I gotta have a safety on that gun. Well, when I'm running simulators and, uh, and courses of fire, and I see people that have manual safeties on their gun and they really don't shoot enough to manipulate that safety, a lot of times they forget to take it off. So if this is a self-defense gun, I want that thing to be fluid with you. I want that thing coming out of the holster, good finger control, and if you do have a manual safety on that gun, that you are just fluid clicking that safety off. It's just another thing that you got to think about. So, the, the LCP, the CAR, the Glock 42, the, uh, the Remington RM380, the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. The Bodyguard does have a manual safety, but I don't know why they put one on it because the trigger pull is very long and, uh, and uh, it's pretty heavy. But the SIG P238, that's a single action trigger. It's going to have a manual safety on it. The biggest thing I can tell you to do is go to a range that has them for you to try. Put some rounds down range and that way you can make a good decision.